Greetings everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here, and today we're gonna to be spending some time with the Roland VAD 706 Electronic Drum Kit. Before I go into some more sounds with this great TD50X module over here, let's get into the details of the drums themselves, and then we'll have some fun with all the great sounds in this brain. So like I said just a second ago, full-size drums, 10 inch, 12 inch rack tom, 14 inch floor tom, 22 by 18 inch kick drum, and a 14 inch snare. Now the toms, floor tom, and the kick drum have this beautiful wood shell with a maple veneer, and these drum kits come in four beautiful colors. You can get the gloss natural, like I have here in front of me today, gloss cherry, gloss ebony, or pearl white. So four really beautiful colors that'll look great on any stage or in any studio. The drums come with Roland's fantastic mesh heads. Now on the snare drum and the floor tom, they're three plies thick. I don't know if you knew the mesh heads had plies, but they do. Three plies on the snare and floor tom, two plies on the rack toms. And what that does is really give these drums a beautiful natural feel. And you can tune up the heads nice and tight if you want a lot of bounce and rebound. Tune them down to where they're gushy and soft if you want it more of a dead feeling. Get them dialed into your playing style however you want. Let me take a couple seconds to talk about the kick drum pad. A very nice feeling pad that really does emulate an acoustic drum in the feel category. When you bury the beater into the pad, it goes in, you don't get any vibrations up your leg like you're playing a plastic head or anything like that. It definitely feels good. Now when you get the drum out of the box, the pad is right in the center of the drum and perfect for a single pedal. But I have a, a double pedal here set up and they made a really cool thing with this head. You can adjust this head by loosening all the tension rods and then once the tension rods are off, you can adjust the head so the pad is offset in either direction. So if you're a left-handed drummer, you turn it to my right. If you're a right-handed drummer, sort of typical, you turn it to my left. That way the pad is offset and the beaters of the double pedal hit the pad equally. Not one in the center and one offset or vice versa. They both hit the pad equally, making the pad work perfectly for double pedal players. The final thing to talk about is a 14 inch digital snare drum. Now I'll get into the digital pads. There's three digital pads with the Roland VAD 706, but the fantastic digital snare drum works just by hitting it with your hand or a stick. It works like a normal acoustic snare drum. In the old days of electronic drums, there was only so many sensors they could put in a pad. So you would usually get two sounds, the sound of the snare in the center and the rim sound. If you wanted a side stick sound, you'd have to get rid of the rim sound and just put the side stick sound on the rim and you wouldn't get the full thing of a real acoustic drum. Well, Roland invented this technology. So when you put your hand on the pad, it grounds out the drum and replaces the rim sound with a side stick sound, just like a normal acoustic drum works. So then Roland took it up another notch. They made a digital ride cymbal. It works the same way. It grounds out the sound if you put your hand on the cymbal. Now this is not like choking when you grab the cymbal and stop the sound. It's just like dampening the cymbal. It slowly sort of decays away, right? And that's really super cool. You also get three sounds, the edge of the cymbal, the meat of the cymbal, right in the, like the body of it, and then the bell. And then you can stop the sound with your hand. And then Roland took it up even another notch and came out with the VH14D, D for digital, a two piece hi-hat system that has a digital input and works the same way as the snare and the ride cymbal where you can dampen the sound with your hand. It grounds out the sound. You get a full size cymbal and you can also play the cymbal more like a real acoustic cymbal where you can ad adjust the sound with your hand. You can grab it like you would a regular hi-hat. <laughs> 
and manipulate the sound like you would a real cymbal. It's so cool. It just makes it more of a natural experience, even though the drums are electronic. And last but not least, as far as the pads are concerned, are the two crash cymbals. 16 inch CY16T, and T stands for thin. These are thinner crash cymbals to give you a more natural feel, easy on the wrists and forearms when you crash into them. You can see that they actually bend a little bit, okay? And a great choking feature. Beautiful feeling, and just the thinness also takes away from the sound of the stick hitting the pad. You know, electronic drums are quiet, but you still hear the sound of the stick hitting the pad. Let me turn the volume down real quick, just so you can hear what I'm talking about. But that little bit of extra thinness in the cymbal feels better and is a little bit quieter too. I'm gonna stop talking here in just a second and play a lot of the great sounds in the TD-50X, but I wanna mention that the hardware, the cymbal stands, the boom stands, and the tom holders all come with the VAD-706. You get three stands, uh, two tom holders, one extra boom stand. The only things you don't get are your hi-hat stand, snare stand, and kick drum pedal. Other than that, you get really good sturdy stands that can adjust these toms anywhere you want them. They're really sort of like road-worthy stands. I like these stands quite a bit. Now let's spend some time with the TD-50X Brain. First thing I want to do is go through some of the sounds of the great kits that are in here. Then I'll talk to you about the, the Brain, take you through some of the features. It's not going to be a total deep dive, but you'll definitely get some of the highlights. So here we go.
hopefully you could tell by the playing examples I just demonstrated there how great the sounds are in the TD-50X. All new sounds, 900 or so sounds in the TD-50X, and they really took some time developing great hi-hat sounds to work with the digital hi-hat and beautiful new other samples to just give you any sound in the palette spectrum there, whether you were playing rock and roll, jazz, funk, electronic music, percussion sounds, anything under the sun you can get out of the TD-50X. One thing they did, I don't know if you saw me pulling down one of the sliders over here, but they took a lot of time developing the ambience in the TD-50X where you can really adjust the overhead sound of your drums or the room sound and just dial in how much bigness in your drum sound you want right with the fader here. So check it out. This is the ambience all the way up on kit number one, acoustic number one. You can hear how the room sound is definitely ringing. Now that's not reverb necessarily, that's room ambience. They recorded the samples for the TD-50 and all the other Roland electronic drum kits in some of the best studios in the world. And they take the time to put microphones all around these great studio rooms. We have a fantastic room here at Sweetwater Studios. And when I play my acoustic drums, we definitely make sure that there's microphones all over the room to capture the bigness that room sounds give the drums rather than just the close mics. Now let me turn the ambience fader down and hear the difference. Ambience all the way off. Now back on, gives a little bit of roundness to it, a little bit of high end comes back into the sound. Now every kit's different, you're gonna hear more or less depending on the kit and the, the vibe they were going for in the preset. So let me go to the next kit up, which is pure wood. Here's ambience all the way down. Nice and dry. Boy, you can really hear the room sound come in. And again, that's not just reverb. You can add other reverb sounds on top of the ambience to really give you a huge sort of cacophonous sound if you want. But this is the room just kind of getting bigger in your sound. And you don't have to have it all the way up. This is halfway. Here's what it sounds like. Just slightly in there. All the way off. And dry all the way up. What a cool feature. With the sliders here, you can adjust the mix however you want. You have kick, snare, toms, hi-hat, crash, and ride. So you can dial in the volume of every drum right here, and then more or less ambience to taste. Another cool thing about this brain here is that you can adjust the sounds on the fly quite easily without having to deep dive into the menus. For instance, say you want the drum to be tuned a little bit deeper. Just hit the instrument button. Whatever instrument you hit, it'll show up on the screen. There's the snare, there's the tom, the picture changes, right? So you know exactly where you are. Let me go back to the snare. Gives you some options right here at the bottom. Tells you what instrument it is, tuning, and muffling. So I wanna tune this snare drum down and make it fatter and deeper. Simple as that. How about I wanna tune it up to make it tighter and brighter? It's so easy to adjust the sound very quickly. Same with the muffling. Now the muffling is off. You get some really cool muffling options, just in case you don't know what muffling is, and I'm sure you already do, but it's things like moon gel, tape, different, uh, you put your wallet on the drum to deaden the sound, those kinds of things. Well, Roland gave you a ton of options in, inside the TD-50X here. So right now it's completely off on the snare drum sound. Tape one, tape two, and as you turn the knob, it gets more and more muffled. Starting to really get deader. Here's a donut. That's more like the wallet sound if you really deaden up the drum. Now you're just hearing a little bit of the reverb decay in the background. The drum is much more dead sounding. And all the way back to muffling off. Again, much more brighter and open and ringy. And just to be clear, let me turn the room ambience down and do the same thing with the muffling so you can hear what the drum sounds when it gets deader. No muffling at all. Getting tighter for sure, that's tape four. And donut two, so you really hear how the sound is much more tighter and uh, there's no decay at all, really. What a cool option to have. And here's the muffling off. You can hear the shell breathing, the shell ringing a little bit of the snare buzz with from the wires at the bottom. 
So Roland definitely went into all the details of the sound of every drum to give you all of its options. In keeping with the ambience, let me show you how you can adjust the ambience to give you even more options there. Just hit the ambience button. You have the overhead and right below it is the room. All you do is use your arrows up and down to adjust either one. I'm gonna leave it on overhead for a second. Use my jog wheel to turn the overhead sound up. So hear the difference here. Here it is at minus three. This is the preset that came with this kit. Hear how much brighter that sound got? It's quite a bit more. Let me go the opposite direction and turn it down. Just gets deader sounding, a little more duller sounding. Again, you adjust it to wherever your ear goes and wherever you want it to sound. Same thing with the room. I'll use the arrow down to the room. Right now it's at minus 20, so not too much room sound. Let's crank it up to the plus side. Whoa, quite a bit more room sound there, right? Then after you make your ambience or overhead adjustments, your fader here will turn it up or down, just like I was showing you earlier. So you can really adjust the sound while you're playing live, like the verse is dead, the choruses have more room ambience, nice performance options, and sound design options in the TD50X. Maybe you noticed while I was changing kits during the playing examples that the colors change on the knobs. There's some red, green, blue, fuchsia, is that pink? Sort of purplish, right? You can adjust those colors however you want. And it's basically to make it so you can, like say all your rock kits could be red and all your jazz kits can be blue. And anyway, you could set it up however you want just to, as a comfort factor so you know exactly where everything is because there's lots of sounds inside the box. If you hit the mixer button, that's where you can dial in the volume of every drum, the panning of every drum and really make the sound specific to you. Now again, this isn't a deep dive into the TD50X. I plan on making a video to do just that at a future date, but there's all kinds of options for effects. You have compression, distortion, reverbs, delays, phasers and flangers and all kinds of stuff that you could put on any drum kit, on any drum specifically and go hog wild with sound design in the TD50X. That being said, let's get into some of the other things like the inputs and the outputs. Lots of great input and output options on the TD50X. Let me try to explain what's really cool about this. Say you're in a big house of worship setting, one of those big church bands where you wanna lose the plexiglass so you can be with the band, but you're, con you know, you're concerned about volume and all of those kinds of things. This Roland VAD 706 is a great option for that because you can dial in the sound for you exactly how you want. Say you have a couple speakers like I have here, the PM100s, the speakers are pointing at me so I hear the drums like a normal acoustic kit would be. Drums kinda of come at you when you're a drummer. Or if you're playing on headphones, you dial in the sound exactly how you want with all your effects, all your panning, all your volume changes, how exactly how you want it. But since the TD50X has direct outputs for all the drums, eight direct outputs, you can send a separate mix to the front of house that is completely dry so they can affect the drums how they want to for the audience coming out of the PA. So two completely separate mixes. How cool is that? You can really dial in your own things for your own inspiration to feel good for you and the rest of the band on stage and then the front of house engineer has his own mix to deal with. You get balanced XLR outs plus quarter inch outputs. You can expand the VAD 706 because the TD50X gives you more trigger inputs on the back of the brain here. There's two different mix inputs. So you can plug in your phone or your computer, anything if you wanna play along to songs, you can throw on Spotify and just play along to your favorite songs with a mix input right here on the machine. You can add your own sounds into the TD50X. There's an SD card slot here, also USB inputs so you could actually put in your own samples and just take the sound palette, the sound library to an endless amount with over 900 sounds internally, plus all your own samples. But I mean, you could have a drum library that is absolutely enormous. There's a foot switch jack on the back of the TD50X so you can change your kits with your feet rather than your hands if you wanna keep playing and not worry about that. Another super cool feature is the MIDI over USB. It works really well with the TD50 and now the TD50X. 32 inputs and outputs. So you can connect the TD50X to your computer, your DAW, and individually record every drum on the drum set, just like you were recording an acoustic kit. You know, you close mic every drum, you need a lot of channels on an acoustic drum kit, well you can do the same thing digitally with the TD50X. 
And there you have it, everybody, a quick run through of the Roland VAD 706 electronic drum kit. Full size drum shells in these beautiful colors, either the natural, ebony, cherry, or pearl white, digital ride cymbal, digital snare, and digital hi hat, thin crash cymbals beautiful feeling mesh heads, and tons of great sounds in the TD50X. If you want any more information about this Roland product or any other Roland product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer, and I'm gonna have some more fun playing these drums. Take care, everybody. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click right here for more videos just like this one or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.